Now that's what I call karma. Up, Weddy Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Vinland Saga chapter 178. So because this is the last chapter of Vinland Saga in 2020, how I'm going to do this is I'm going to do my recap, then do my live reaction for um, chapter 178, give my thoughts on um, chapter 178, then give my thoughts on Vinland Saga in 2020 as a whole, and what I would like to see from Vinland Saga in um, 2021. So, anyway, oh, last chapter of Vinland Saga, we saw we saw some massive karma for uh, for Bug Eyes, <laughs> and he's like, you know what? Fuck it, I'm gonna go uh, to Vinland and um, and ban gambling. <laughs> Like, what the fuck is wrong with you, man? <laughs> Just an idiot, bro. He is. Anyway, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us um, this month. Let's go beyond the horizon. Ooh, this is really adorable. This really is adorable art. So, you have Europe, the map, with Europe, Iceland, Greenland, and we're right now in between here and Vinland. And I love that there's like a sea monster up in there. And then there's like, is that like Sasquatch or some shit up in Europe? The fuck? Oh god. God, you keep what the shit? Um, dude, what snacky have you been eating, bro? Anyway, this chapter is titled Sailing West uh, Part 12. Ooh, this art is looking good. Thorfinn's ship, uh, ships continue westward on the North Atlantic. Since departing Greenland, it's been many days since they've seen land. The Vinland uh, settlers have set sail. In the 11th century, they didn't have compasses. Um, when they uh, couldn't navigate based on landmarks, the sun and stars served to guide the way. Using the angle between celestial bodies and the, and the horizon, they could calculate the ship's latitude. This panel is gorgeous Yukimura oh my god that's something I gotta say that has been really nice to see this year is how um Yukimura has evolved as an artist oh my god this art is gorgeous from ancient ancient times ships uh could find their latitude in parallel based on this type of celestial navigation love it I love this map. It is gorgeous. Um, Thorfinn's ship, uh, ships are currently sailing in uh, the Labrador Sea near the 60th parallel north. So there's there's Greenland, and then there's the UR here, um, and there's the uh, Heluland. <laughs> Heluland! Oh my god! Um, and Markland. And, oh, there's even a, a, a place, a, a little marker for Leaf's Farm. That's really cute. Look! Portside! Which, oh, sorry, let me make sure that, no, big mark here. Uh, look, port side, which, where, it's there. Hey, don't get on one side of the ship, we'll capsize. Wow, look at that wa ocean water, it is beautiful. Ooh, what the, f is that a sea monster? Dude, I'm telling you, those waves, I could just like, smell that ocean air I really could smell the salt in the ocean air feel the spray of the water I'm telling you that that's one thing that Yukimura um, has really done well this year and, and this is why I say like evolve as an artist the nature art has just been like freaking amazing oh what um it's a whale what oh it's a whale a what a whale a whale oh well surprise me Eh? Huh? Are they okay over there? That's Enar's ship, isn't it? Shall we get closer? Enar, is everything okay? Sorry, sorry, just a bit of trouble. Mr. Uge was startled. I knew it! I knew it! It's useless! Turn back! We're all going to get eaten by Charmigan! <laughs> Don't worry, what we saw just now were some whales. It wasn't Jarman God. Uh, God. You think that was a whale? It was definitely Jarman God! Oh, it's so terrifying! In the depths of the sea lurk all sorts of unimaginable, horrifying creatures. <gasps> Yuki Mara, this is beautiful! Oh my god, look at those freaking sea creatures down there. <gasps> this is beautiful! Um, 
them. They're waiting to swallow our boats in one gulp. And to an extent, he's actually right. We don't know what's down there. We only, we only know, like, a little bit of what's in the ocean. So technically, he's right. But man, this is beautiful art, Yukimura. Uh, oh my god. Leaf made it to villain and back, though, didn't he? Safe and sound. It's because the man, that man has luck. Leaf the lucky, he's called. He's the exception. The sea really is scary, huh, Mr. Oog? Uh, Mr. Uge, uh, haven't you um, haven't you been on a boat before? We've got uh, got to just hang in there until Vinland. Yeah, but I'm a bit afraid of something else. We've sailed sailed true west for ten days and not seen land. What if Thorfinn? What if what if our ships um are on the wrong course and we already missed Vinland? Vinland, what then? Oh, that was wave. That wave is just. We might go over the edge of Midgard. Oh my god. That. Oh my god. It's not just a wave. I'm sorry. It's not a wave. It's the edge of Midgard. That is just. Or I should say that's a waterfall more than anything. Or like going into a trench. That's just so beautiful. Um, waterfall going into like an abyss. There we go. That's the right wording. This is just. This is just so beautiful. Like again. I can feel that water. I really could. I can feel the spray of the water. It's just. You can run like this is so beautiful. It really is. I'm telling you, you can run. He's really evolved as an artist this year. This is just so gorgeous. That would <laughs> that would suck, <laughs> right? We might fall off the edge. That would thwack. <laughs> yeah. But you need don't need to worry. The world would probably doesn't have an edge. Duh. No edge? Uh, probably. This world is probably a sphere. But girl's smart. Fair? Um, the line of the hor uh, horizon curves slightly. If the sea covers the surface of a giant ball, it explains all sorts of things. Speaking of, suck on that, flat earthers! Suck on that! Also, look, this art is just... It's just so beautiful really is again it really feels like it feels like we could go swimming in that ocean it really does also that water is probably freezing as fuck Ooh, it's giving me chills but that sky is just so beautiful those clouds everything it's just so gorgeous round things don't have an edge uh, for example the sea is wound? Probably. The middle is under it? Dude, that kid is smart. Wound things, wound things. If you don't go like this, you don't fall. And a wound thing, the inside is down? Carly, how old are you? Four? Two, Carly's fucking smart. Amazing to understand that hypothesis. Those aren't the smarts of a regular person. Seriously! Like, out of everyone there, like, Carly is, like, fucking smart! Uh, very good question. We both have traveled all across the world, and nowhere have we seen anything that would fall diagonally at an angle. So, if the hypothesis that, um, uh, the world is a sphere is correct, the bottom of it would be towards the center of the sphere. He'll, he'll just talking, so, is talking fast. So funny. He'll, you know what? I will say this about Hild. And I'll mention, I'll probably, I'll really go into detail about this at the end of this. I really, gr like, at the beginning of this year, I really, and even before then, I really did not like Hild. But man, this year, I've really grown to like her. I really like Hild. Hild is like the, is Hild is like one of the, one of the only characters in this fucking manga with fucking common sense. Oh, I really hope she doesn't die. I really don't want her to die now. Originally, I wanted her to die. Now I don't want her to die. I like Hild. I think she might fit, like, she's got to be my, uh, Garm is still my number one, all right? Garm is my number one as Bondo. But I really like Hild up in here. I think she's my second favorite character now. That says a lot about this writing. No changes today. No land either. It's strange. No matter how far we go, the horizon doesn't get any closer. Ooh, look at that light coming through the clouds. <gasps> oh my god, Yukimura! 
the horizon stays there, but the land gro uh, grows closer. I don't get it. How, how are we even able to see the top of the mountain? It seems to sink into the water the f uh, farther we get. Ah, that's it. That's it. Hmm? Oh? God, this is just so beautiful. Dead ahead! Land ho! Land! We can see land! Kyo! Wah! Can you see Vinland? Wha Finally! Don't push! Where? No, that's Hellland! Uh, that comes first! Thorfinn! Um, Gudrid! Uh, thank God! Starboard diagonal ahead, a whale! It's passing us, be careful! Hey guys, I said there's a whale! Are you even listening, stupid layman? Aren't you scared of whale? Oh, they're cheering, they're too busy celebrating. Finally, hooray! Are you even listening, stupid layman? Aren't you scared of whales? They're gonna crash the sh uh, ship if they keep being playful like that. Oh, for real, we need to be careful! Oh my god! That whale is just beautiful! Oh, how it look at how it's just coming out of the water like that. It's just like everything just works. It is just perfection. It looks like a it really looks like a whale coming out of the water. I know it's weird that I'm just like going nuts all over this, but it it's that's just really really good art. Yukimura, is, this is just incredible. I'm telling you, Yukimura has really evolved as an artist this year, huh? It's not... Oh, it's not a whale? Oh my god, it's Loch Ness! What the fuck? Drama God! Whoa, it's not a whale, it's Loch Ness! Nessie! You guys, did you see that? Do you see Drama God? Behind you, behind, look behind you! It's not Land Ho! being a whale but i'm still not wrong on that detailing oh my god oh look look at the, look at that german god I'm, I'm calling it nessie deal with it and look how beautiful that is under the water look at it glide it's just it's just so heavenly oh my god you can i'm still not taking back what i said when we saw um nessie going up into the you know coming up and diving in the water like that it's just beautiful. It really is. I really love, I love this art. It's so beautiful. It really looks like you can write on top of it. You could touch it. It's just that good. I swear to God, Yukimura, you are like one of the, one of the leading artists of this, um, of this uh, manga renaissance movement. I swear, it has just been so beautiful to see this. Uh, whoa, wow, a snake, a snake, it's a giant sea serpent. I, ouch. Huh? Hey, someone went overboard. After Bug Eyes was rescued, he slept for about three hours, and after waking, he described his experience as follows. I was so scared. I saw a German guard in my, a god in my dream. The Vinland settlers, led by Thorfinn, successfully crossed the Atlantic Ocean and landed on the North American continent. Beyond um, this point lies the realm of mystery. Next issue, we're finally landing! Yes, 2021 is starting off with a bang! Oh my god. Oh my god, this, is, this final page is beautiful too. Poor fucking bug eyes. Poor bug eyes. Alright, so let me give you my thoughts on... Um, this chapter as a whole first and then in terms of art this chapter was gorgeous oh my god this chapter was beautiful um Yukimura oh my god please 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 keep up this beautiful artwork because last chapter the art wasn't as as gorge as it could have been like more of this more of this art, please. Uh, this is what I want more of in 2021. Um, I really love that we got to see Nessie 
Yes, I'm calling it Nessie. Deal with it. I really love that we got to see the Nessie. I thought that was freaking hilarious with bug eyes. I love the content there. I love I love that um, Do ended up being right that it was the lock ne that it was that was the Nessie. <laughs> the shit was great. Um, and poor fucking poor bug eyes man. He got the short end of the stick. But um, but I'm real and also. He'll, uh, uh, Carly's fucking smart. Holy shit, Carly's a lot smarter than we thought. Um, but anyway, let me get to my thoughts on um, Vinland in uh, 2020 as a whole. So let's see where we started off. So we started off 2020 with chapter 169, and that's when... Um, we learn the truth about Cordelia um, being uh, Thorkel's, um, well, Thorkel's daughter, well, biological son, but um, uh, Cordelia identifies as a female. And I find it very fascinating that we got a transgender character. I thought that was really, really cool. Apparently YouTube don't like it because they uh, um, decide to limit the mon monetization. I gotta think, I'm gonna appeal that shit. Because I thought YouTube would like that shit. Because I titled it uh, Gender Identity Crisis. I think YouTube would like that shit. Go fucking figure. So I gotta deal with that. But, um, so we started off with Cordelia, uh, you know, finding out the truth about Cordelia. And then we had um, the whole thing with Half Dan, uh, with Half Dan. And I gotta say, the content we got with Half Dan was really interesting. I really loved how Half Dan broke it all down especially um uh especially like a constitutional especially like a constitutional republic or a system of government i thought that was very very interesting i really like i really love how he broke that down um and why um you need a, a sort of a, like a government system set up in, instead of like um, instead of, like, complete, like, anarchy, which is kind of like what Thorfinn wants to do. And, uh, and kind of, uh, a fair way of saying this is, is that Thorfinn was gonna, uh, going to Vinland without, um, like, he was going to go there with, um, uh, just skipping a few steps. It, it was very underpants gnomish. So I really love that, um, Half Dan called that shit out. The other thing I gotta say that was really, um, great about Half Dan was because you remember Thorfinn wants to go there wants no weapons there and I love that the other thing I gotta say and I said this earlier I loved loved I fell in love with Hild this year because Hild called that shit out Hild's like dude you're being fucking stupid I mean I again I understand Thorfinn's point of view but like to an extent but even when you have Hild calling you out on your bullshit you know that you're being very fucking stupid. And he'll, he'll prove my goddamn point of why Thorfinn being dumb. Um, but I love that we finally are heading to Vinland. I love that we're ending 2020 with, you know, finally getting on land. I think that's great. I am really sad that Garm's not there. Why the fuck is Garm not there? Should be here. Like, what the fuck? Garm not being here really, really makes me mad. I really hope that Garm is going to come with, like, Canute or something. Um, because we know Thorkel's still with Canute. Garm better be up in there with, uh, with Canute and shit. Because I want to see it. I want to see that shit happening. But, um, the other thing I got to say that I really will, I'm looking forward to seeing is Yukimura continuing to evolve as an artist. I really, really love the art that we're getting here. I really do. I really love the metaphorical art in particular that we got this past year. Oh my god, it has just been beautiful. And then, and obviously the um, the landscape nature art that we got has just been heavenly. Oh my god. Anyway, I'm really curious what you guys thought of um, of Vinland Saga this year. I think this has been a really good year for Vinland uh, Vinland Saga. Yeah, I got pissed off at some of the shit that uh, Thorfinn said, 
But the thing that was great, uh, the thing I will give Yukimura um, credit for is now, that, and this is what I'm happy about, is we got an idea of what's going through Thorfinn's mind. Even though I don't agree with it, we got an idea of what's going through Thorfinn's mind. And that's why, again, this is why I'm glad Hild called his ass out for it. I'm glad we did. And the other thing I got to say about Halfdan that I really fucking love, I love that Halfdan was just like, as soon as, you know, his grandson came, half dance just like i'm just gonna cut my losses on this shit and invest in the future fuck it <laughs> and then the other thing of course i gotta mention uh, before i forget as well is i love the leaf content the leaf content was so sweet it was and then fucking bug eyes of course being a dickhead <laughs> bug eyes is just fucking awesome i love it anyway let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys thought of um, not only this chapter of vinland but vinland in 2020 and what are you guys looking forward to uh for uh, from vinland saga in 2021 let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and remember to like comment share and subscribe to nerdigan zinc if you love what i'm doing i want to help keep this channel alive so i can keep bringing you more vinland saga content there's a few ways you could do that you can donate to my cash app paypal patreon Purchase something off my Amazon wishlist. All's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, from me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.